Alright, hello people of YouTube, it is Mick here from the East Coast Geeks, and believe it or not, I'm an idiot sometimes. Um, but, this is my second take, so this should be a bit smoother. But, what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to install MacJeb onto Kerbal Space, Kerbal Space Program version 0.22. Um, it's different, and that's mainly because they haven't released the updated version of MacJeb for version 0.22, but there's a way you can get it now, If and especially if you're like me and you rely on MacJeb for absolutely everything you do in Kerbal Space Program, it's helpful. Now this might make the people who don't agree, who do everything by hand angry, but hey, it's the internet, you have the right to be angry. Alright, you're going to install what you used to originally, um, go ahead and get the MacJeb folder up. Uh, parts. We're going to go ahead and drop these two in. There's going to be one difference here. Let me drop these in. Now, I've already dropped MechJub the AR202 in, so it's going to do this. Go ahead and click yes. Do this for the next files. Um, luckily, hopefully, it'll have replaced the config, so I can show you guys how to do that. But we're going to have to edit the config so you can get it to start with in Kerbal Space Program. Um, so I use Notepad. Yeah, as you guys can see here, Notepad++, plus, 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 excuse me. Um, you get it loaded here, and you'll see Editor Parameters. You're going to want to change Flight Control. You want to change that to Start. Uh, entry Cost. You can make that 0. Cost, 500. That's what I do. Makes it easy. I'm going to go ahead and save that config file. Okay. Go ahead and exit that out. Now... We'll just install the plugin as per usual. We'll just take that whole folder into the main parts section here. Pull that up. I have a 32 inch monitor and yet I still don't find I have enough room for some things. Plug, plugins, boom. Drop that in there. Now this is the, the most different aspect and this is basically what makes it work in this version. Um, and I'll put these links below, but you're going to want to open the folder game data. These are all available on Spaceport, mind you. Now you're going to have a parts folder here, and that's going to be command. And you're going to want to take all these parts. Let's open this up here. Parts. And you're going to want to drop all these into command. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Command. Do this for all 20 conflicts. Yes. And it is in. And if all goes well, you should have successfully installed MechJub. Kerbal Space Program and get it right off the bat in career mode. What we should see. And while it's loading, I do want to say Kerbal Space Program is absolutely amazing with this version. The career mode is brilliant. Um, and I'll do some videos probably on that here soon. Um, but I definitely recommend this is the time to get this game. This game is getting so much better as development goes on, and you really can't beat it. I've played this game. <laughs> I mean, you guys see a little bit of the stuff I do, but there are days when I'll sit here for like three hours and just fly and fly and fly and fly. Okay, game is loaded. We'll go ahead and start game. Let's resume save. I already had a default f flight saved from when I messed this up before and forgot to add the plugins folder, so it didn't work. But this one will work. Auto save ship. <clears throat> now I just made a basic ship. I added mech jeb to it. As you can see, the mech jeb MechJeb bar is there now. It wasn't there before. It's called the East Coast Geekery, and we'll go ahead and launch. Clear launch pad. Alright, MechJeb, open it up. Uh oh, there it all is. We'll do Ascent Guidance. Just hit spacebar to launch. Oh, I didn't get my stages right. So I had a bit of a disaster there, but that is the... F MechJeb in version 20.2 or 20, point 22, excuse me so if you have any questions or anything like that f please feel free to uh, ask and I will try to help you to the best of my abilities and I hope you guys have a great night